Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy X coming at y'all with a brand new video. And in this video, we're talking about how to snipe in NBA 2K20. Now, if you guys obviously are having a little trouble sniping, or maybe you just don't know and you want a little info on the basics of sniping in 2K20, I got you, and I'm gonna be showing you guys how it's going on. If you guys are new to 2K and you guys like, you know, the informational stuff and helpful tips on the channel, please hit that sub down below. I'll help you out a lot. You're gonna be coming out with a bunch of videos on how to make MT and all that sort of stuff with these new stuffs. I'm actually dropping a video a little bit after this on how to make MT with these buzzer beater packs. Maybe by the time that you're watching this video, you'll have already seen it or it'll already be up, so you can check that out as well, which I think would be super cool now basically what sniping is is buying low and selling high so i'm gonna use obviously one of the new cards that dropped today as an example and we're gonna go with tony kukoc just because he is the cheapest of the cards um that is going to be on it so it's basic it's the most basic kind of economic principle buy low sell high and if you guys are wondering exactly what that means and we're what 100% sniping is it's basically profiting off other people's mistakes in the auction house so people are going to throw up cards that are a little bit cheaper than what you normally would put it up for it's so like Tony Kukoc for example I'm trying to find his price but he's a little bit um, more expensive than I was anticipating him actually being let me see okay so Tony Kukoc is going for somewhere around 19k I'll have to look at the exact so yeah he's exactly going for 19k or 18500 and basically what sniping is is somebody's gonna throw up a card for example of 10k for this Tony Kukoc which obviously is not the price that Tony Kukoc is going for so you are sitting on one of these filters ready to pick up that Tony Kukoc and the second that it's put up you're gonna pick up that Tony Kukoc and you're gonna sell him for 18k slightly undercutting the other person and making your bread right that's that's the general gist of it but how do we do that obviously we need some good filters and i'll be making a lot of videos on how to make mt off of you know the new packs that are going to be dropping maybe some other snipe filters that you guys should be using right now to kind of help you guys out but i don't want to be too much of a snipe filter channel so obviously i'll have other tips and stuff like that and i kind of want to show you guys how to make a bunch of mt tokens all that sort of stuff now with tony kukoc as we can see he's going consistently for about 18k or so um there's a 10 percent tax when you guys sell cards in the auction house if you guys didn't know so when we were to sell one for 18k we're going to lose 1800 mt which is 16k 200 16,200 mt that we're going to be doing and you guys can do this with every single card take 10 percent off the lowest price and that's what you guys can pick up a card for without you know losing any profit basic math uh right there and we're gonna sit here on this filter and go off now basically what a filter is because i've i realized i haven't really explained a filter is this for example tony kukoc diamond 500 minimum buy 100k maximum bid and 16k 200 maximum buy -out. now filters are literally just this you can search for any card and anything with these filters now minimum buyout or i should say for cards that have a buyout meaning that you can pick them up with a straight mt amount you're going to want to use ones like this where it has a minimum buyout a maximum bid and a lower maximum buyout and other cards maybe not so much if that i'll <laughs> get to those in a second but obviously for our 16k 200 that's what we're looking for for tony kukoc and every single time there is a you know refresh we want to keep searching we're going to knock this maximum bid down one and then it options just to search and you're going to re keep repeating this motion over and over again boom okay and now a lot of people actually do struggle sometimes with maybe how long should they be sniping for on some of these filters and there's one tip that I like to give a lot of people is I would spend, you know, three to five minutes on a filter sniping over and over and over again, trying to get a card, not anything too crazy, not anything too serious. And if a filter is popping and by popping, I mean, there's a bunch of cards popping up. There's a bunch of, you know, things happening that are, you know, good. You're getting a lot of snipes and everything's looking great for you. Then wh why would you you know, stop sniping. Obviously, if the filter is hot, if you're getting a lot of snipes and you're making a lot of empty, don't hop off of it. But if the filter is dry, for example, like it is right now, maybe it's not the best time for me to go ahead and continue sniping because nobody's pulling packs, nobody's throwing stuff up. And that actually brings me to my next point, time of day. Make sure that you're sniping 
at the right times of day. Really early morning, for example, if we're talking at like 3 a.m. to, you know, maybe 10 to 11 in the morning, Eastern time, even Pacific time, might not be the best time to be sniping because you now people aren't awake, people aren't pulling packs. You know, it's just not the greatest time. Midday, sometimes around lunch, actually is pretty decent depending on, you know, where you are and what you're doing. Just because, you know, maybe college kids are home, they're not actually in class, maybe they pulled some packs, something like that. And when I have the best experience is usually around nighttime and dinner time. That's when I have the best luck sniping whenever I do uh, go for it. You know, maybe somewhere between 3 to like 8 at night usually is my prime time for sniping and when I see a lot of good snipes pop up on the auction house when I do decide to snipe. So you know it's always on that. But what happens when the filter is dry? What should you do with it? My personal tip is head over to multiplayer, play a game of triple threat online, play a game of triple threat offline and I think you'll have seen the time it goes by pretty quick. You play, you know, just go back and forth and keep doing this because instead of you know taking a break uh, going to get a drink, which you can totally do. You can always make some more MT. Like, let's say you have an hour um, that you have to place UK and you want to make some MT. I think the best way would be flip flopping between a triple threat online game and then moving over to sniping back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Now, how do you know what filters to use? And that is all based on what packs are out. Filters that are always going to be good are the series two packs specifically silvers diamonds and pink diamonds for the series two those are always good filters to look at and again do the 10 percent tax trick where you look at what the lowest price is going for take 10 percent off and then do that i would do that every single time and you can always snipe these series two and then the other things always snipe the new cards that are coming out Tony Kukoc, De'Aaron Fox, Pete Maravich, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. And again, there's going to be a video later today with filters exactly on what you should be doing to make MT off of these guys and how to make MT off of these packs that are coming out right now. And I think it'll be really helpful to a lot of you guys. So please check it out if you, uh, you know, need that help. Now, obviously, I touched on how to snipe the, you know, cards where there is a buyout. But X, what about the cards that don't have a buyout? I know that was a little cringy, but it's okay. Uh, for example, a card that doesn't have a buyout is every single Galaxy Opal. For example, there's not a single Galaxy Opal that actually is cheap <laughs> on the auction house, which is kind of tough. The cheapest it's looking like is Vince Carter and Andre Karolinko. Um, I also have a gripe to pick. Andre Karolinko should not be as cheap as he is. This card is amazing. Like, what is going on? But basically, what about these cards that don't have a buyout? What do we do with these cards? Now, if it's a pink diamond, you're going to want to search for specifically that card. But right now, one of the great filters is the Galaxy Opal. Now, what you're going to, want to do is minimum buyout is you want to put that to 500. Maximum bid, throw that all the way up to 100K. And maximum buyout, throw that all the way up to 100K as well. Now, what you're going to do is obviously do your first search. Then come down and your minimum buyout, move that up by 50 every single time. What that allows you to do is refresh but obviously if one pops up for 500 you're going to miss that it's just kind of how the game works so basically what i would recommend that you do is move it all the way up to probably about you know maybe 5k um if you guys are confused on what i'm meaning go up by these 50 increments until you get to between 2.5 to 5k somewhere around that is usually when i do it that means you've probably been searching for a good 10 minutes or so maybe even more and i think it's time that you back out, reset the filter, go play a triple threat game, or if you're just really trying to snipe, just reset the filter and hop right back in. To reset the filter, all that means is you can reset search by just hitting triangle or Y, or back out of the auctions, go back into the auctions, and do it that way. Those are really uh, the best ways to do it. And I know a lot of people might be thinking, you know, oh, you know, sniping can't make you a lot of MT, but I promise, do it on some of the days where packs are coming out it's really hyped and you really want to make a lot of mt and i think you guys might be you know finding it pretty pretty lucrative now i know that it may seem a little daunting when you first try it out with the whole filters and stuff like that but i promise once you get the hang of it down you'll be perfectly okay and one of the toughest things is just you know getting started and getting your timing down um, some filters are more competitive than others, like the Series 2 Silver Filter, really competitive. You gotta be like really on your mark to get it. 
and one thing that can help you is just making sure that you got fast fingers and you can you know click it very easy one thing that i would give you guys as a tip is this little difference right here so with if a card pops up, for example, Gary Harris and Andre Drummond were to pop up, let's say, with this Gary Harris, obviously I have to go down and buy it now at 750 when I snipe. So, if this Andre Drummond pops up though, because both are equal, my maximum bid and my buy it now are equal, you can basically bid on the card, and because they're equal, you'll actually get the Andre Drummond and buy it, meaning you don't have to waste your time to go down and then buy it, you can just buy it right here. That's a nice little tip that i think a lot of you guys have and obviously if a card pops up for your filter that is a good price pick it up immediately if you see it don't hesitate at all just go and buy it so hopefully you know this video kind of helps you guys out for those of you guys who were maybe a little intimidated by how to snipe it maybe this helps you out you know get through it again i'm gonna keep making sure whenever new packs come out i show you guys how to make mt off of these new packs i'm gonna try my best to make sure i come out with the best filters for all you sort of guys and obviously i've jumped a bunch of mt making videos on my channel i'm gonna keep doing that to help you guys out at the years go on let me know you know other videos you guys want to see that might help you out like the video you guys did enjoy and subscribe if you guys are new we're on that road to 4.7k trying to get 5k by the end of the month hope you guys have a great rest of your day and i will see y'all in the next video and i got this soul.